Hi, I'm Chris Cardona, and welcome to Royal Caribbean's private destination of Labadee, Haiti. And we'll be bringing you all the highlights coming up on Talking Cruise. Okay, just heading off the gangway here at beautiful Labadee, Haiti. This is one of the first moments uh, to be up close uh, next to the ship. It's our first stop on our seven night cruise to the Eastern Caribbean. And if you're not familiar with Labadee, Labadee is actually a private destination for Royal Caribbean guests. It is an exclusive destination and it is on the uh, northern coast of Haiti. Today I plan to give you a, a tour of uh, highlights here at uh, Labadee, uh, show you uh, where the included items, uh, what things are extra, because uh, there are a few of the uh, more thrilling experiences that do cost an extra uh, amount here. So welcome to Labadee. So as you walk uh, down the pier off your ship, you're going to come to this welcome area here where you'll have uh, opportunities for obligatory photos with the uh, ship's photographers. If you want to get out on the water here in Labadee, uh, maybe check out the wave jet tour. Uh, I've actually done this before and I uh, do have a video on the uh, channel for you to check out. Uh, it's Really, really cool. They take you around uh, most of uh, this particular area here, uh, Labadee, and uh, you'll get to meet some of the locals. And uh, it's a guided tour, so you do have somebody uh, taking the lead and you'll just follow them. Uh, but it is a great experience here uh, to get out on the water. This is the staging area for the wave jet tour. You'll have some instruction. You can lock your things away. It's actually been updated since I was here last. Have some questions about things uh, that are available here in Labadee? Come and check out the information center right off the Welcome Plaza. It's a nice, friendly welcome. Just merely a few hundred feet away from the Welcome Plaza is your first bar here on Labadee. Okay guys, I'm going to be young. I'm going to go down. And your time here on uh, Labadee also includes uh, barbecue lunch. Uh, it's a little bit early yet, but we'll be checking that out later. And uh, just to let you know that I do plan on walking uh, most of the way today, but there is a tram that takes you through most of uh, the accessible areas on uh, Labadee. So uh, just to let you know that, I'll show you the tram station up here as we go through uh, the different areas. Here's some more friendly locals. Here comes the tram, and these are pretty frequent throughout the day. Here's a little reminder and uh, something that you should keep in mind. Pretty much any beach you go to is please leave nothing but your footprints. So my plan is to walk along uh, as many of the pathways as I possibly can to show you uh, the different areas and beaches. Uh, this beach right here, which is the first uh, that you'll reach when you uh, come through the Welcome Plaza, this is actually the landing spot for the uh, Dragon's uh, Flight Line. It uh, basically takes you from the top of that mountain over there all across the water and then ending up over here on this platform. 
Uh, there was an extra cost for that. Uh, pretty reasonable though. I, I've, I've seen it for I think around $49, $59. Uh, but of course all that is subject to uh, change. If you'll notice here it's uh, pretty rocky getting from the sand uh, into the water. Uh, but there are some better spots uh, to swim and I'll show you those as well. Here's some local souvenirs for sale. Morning. If you come early enough, you might be able to get one of these uh, swinging beds under the uh, thatched uh, shade. But all of these loungers and umbrellas that you'll see scattered uh, along the beaches are complimentary. There's no extra cost for any of these. Only for the uh, cabanas uh, do you have an extra cost. And there is definitely plenty of seating. Uh, if you don't find it right at the uh, first beach you come to and keep walking, you'll find it somewhere because uh, they do have lots of chairs and umbrellas uh, set up for you. And here we have another bar. There's also these clamshells set up. Uh, these are going for around $50 per day. Uh, have a couple of loungers inside and uh, you're right up against the water so super convenient and uh, definitely more shade than you might have with uh, an umbrella and over here at this hut we have uh, the beach mat rentals uh, these can go sometimes ten dollars if you get them online but they can go up to 15 or even 20 dollars if you wait till you get to labadee so again one of those things where you can save a little bit of money by doing it in advance This open section here, they have uh, beach volleyball. And then again, we're transitioning from the pay uh, clamshells back to the complimentary loungers and umbrellas. Lots of open ones uh, still at this time. And again, we're just kind of hugging the coastline here. Um, I'll go inland a little bit more afterwards and show you uh, some of the other areas. Uh, as well on the on the bay side and here's a nice little splash pad for the kids to cool off um, it's only 9 30 in the morning and it is sweltering already and look at here there's another bar so i'll take you down to the uh, water's edge over here uh, as i was telling you before if you keep walking a little bit you'll find a spot where you can walk into uh, sandy water not uh, rocky and uh, this is a better location for that. This is a, a second barbecue location, which again, it's a little early still, so they're not quite ready to go. But uh, this will be full later in the day for sure. And it's completely complimentary, which is fantastic. another nice uh, little swimming area kind of set up like a lagoon you can have some swings right in the water it's pretty cool and if you don't mind swimming to get your drink or waiting head over here to this uh, floating bar they have something similar to this at uh, Coco K as well So continuing the uh, nautical uh, vibe from the schooner bar on board the ship, this is the schooner bar Labadee. It's really nice that they have these uh, cement pathways, makes it very easy to walk as I'm doing right now. So this area here is Adrenaline Beach. Uh, this is the location of the Dragon Tail Coaster and uh, some sports here as well, basketball, bocce ball. Another bar here. Another option you have for shade are these beach beds. They pretty much are like a bed, you can have pillows. And uh, <clears throat> you do get some uh, more attention over here. Oh, there it goes. 
couple of zip liners. But uh, these are reasonable costs. I think they're a couple hundred dollars uh, for the day um, to enjoy these near the water. I'm here at the end of Adrenaline Beach and you can really get a good perspective. There's the ship in the distance there. And we walked all the way around there. And then here are the beach beds. And then up there is the flight line. Another exciting extra cost adventure is the Dragon's Tail Coaster that winds its way from the top of the mountain down to Adrenaline Beach. And at the end of Adrenaline Beach is also this basketball court. We're on the tram now. Just going to take this around a little bit. So definitely a easier and probably more pleasurable way to get around is to take the tram. Beat some of this uh, lavity heat. All right, let's check out the lunch here at uh, Dragon's Cafe on Lavity. Some nicely cut up fresh fruit. Cookies and cakes, and brownies. A great idea. They have individual portions uh, in containers: the Caesar salad, pasta salad with cherry tomatoes, and uh, ooh, watermelon and feta cheese. Very nice. And then over here we have coconut rice, mini corn on the cobs, and hot dogs. Over here we have some St. Louis ribs, cheeseburgers, plain burgers, and some buns and jerk chicken wraps as well. And we've got some toppings for your sandwiches as well. So on the opposite side of Adrenaline Beach, we come to Nellie's Beach. Uh, this is much more serene. It's actually a part of the uh, natural bay here. And this will be the spot for us to have a much better look at the ship. And it's also a location where they have the over the water cabanas which I've uh, rented in the past and uh, they're actually a very good value considering their location so just like on the other side um, all the chair loungers and umbrellas these are all complimentary this is actually my favorite spot to swim here on Labadee Yeah, this is uh, much more protected here. It's uh, pretty sandy for the most part. And then, of course, you've got your amazing view of the ship right out there at the pier. Guests staying in Grand Suites or above, or at Pinnacle Crown and Anchor level, can enjoy the private area of Barefoot Beach with an upgraded buffet lunch. So this area here has the uh, water slide, which uh, does have an extra cost. Pretty much all of these activities right here are at an extra cost, including this uh, in-water uh, aqua park here. Well, that was a pleasant walk around Labadee. Uh, it's been a couple of years since I've been here. Hasn't really changed a whole uh, lot, really. It's uh, pretty much the way I do remember it. Now let's have another look here at the ship along the pier.
Thanks for joining me as we've explored the highlights here at Royal Caribbean's private destination of Labadee, Haiti. Don't forget to like this video, post your comments and questions, hit that notification bell, and subscribe for more Talking Cruise. Thank you.